हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट इंसर्शन एट एंड फॉर अ लिंक लिस्ट इन प्रीवियस वीडियो इफ यू रिकॉल वी डिस्कस्ड इंसर्शन एट द बिगिनिंग आई होप यू आर फॉलोइंग द प्ले लिस्ट एंड यू मस्ट हैव गॉन थ्रू दिस टॉपिक सो एज आई टोल्ड यू वी हैव इंसर्शन इन बिगिनिंग एट द एंड and at any specific location in this video we will be discussing insertion at end so let's start if you remember i discussed with you that the first two points of the algorithm i will not be discussing because in the previous video i discussed it thoroughly how this condition of overflow is checked so first what we do is we create a new node we call it let's say i have called it new and we check if overflow condition is there or not if condition new is equal to null then we say we are not able to create any new node and our linked list is already occupied uh, the maximum space it has been allocated it is already occupying this we cannot create any new node now there can be two cases one case is this that let's say our whole linked list is empty which means no node is present there is not even a single node and i have to insert my first node so although we are doing insertion at end but there is no other node at whose end i can fix this new node so this can be my first condition second condition that can come is like i have a normal linked list which i have created here and i create a new node called new and i have to fix it at the end these two conditions can be there so we have to write our algorithm accordingly only so first we will deal with this first point let's say the node is already empty there is not even a single node in the linked list linked list is empty and we have to attach a node to it in such case what all i have is s that is my start pointer which is null it is not having any value because there is not even a single node in my linked list now i need to fix this item new this what i have created and it let's say it is item and here because there is no successor node i will have a null value right let's say its address is 4 the address of this node is 4 so after checking this what our next step is set new info so this new is having some info part that is item part for every single node i told you there is one info part and second part which is containing the address of the next node which we denote by next okay so in this case new info that is equal to item which we have taken here so we will save it set it set new info equal to item new next is equal to null because here there is no successor node so we will set it as null now the address that i talked about that let's say 4 is the address i need to put it in the s i hope you are getting my point so if s is equal to null only then this condition is met like c s is null this means i have no node in the linked list and then set s is equal to new we will set this s is equal to the address of the new then we can have this relationship we have established this s is equal to let's say this will be 4 and it will be containing the address here i hope you understand this logic this was the first condition where the whole linked list was empty now there can be a case when i have this whole linked list which is already there and i have to do addition of the new node at the end so let's see this point also how we will do it so now for this what we will do is first we will create a new variable called ptr pointer pointer will be tracking our current location okay so 
first what we will do is we will set this pointer is equal to s we have set this pointer is equal to s then we will be traversing the nodes we will traverse 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 then when we have reached the last node we will add the address here the logic goes like this we will add the add the address here and hence we will establish a connection with this node so use karne ke liye hum log kya karenge we have written like we will keep on repeating because we we are traversing and we will traverse until we find null so until pointer is not equal to next we will keep on updating our pointer right this step 8 is basically updating our pointer and we will keep on updating we, our pointer will move like this to this to this and it will keep on updating itself until and unless it finds null like here i hope this much is clear so for updating our pointer what we will do is we will just put pointer is equal to pointer next so jaise hi hum logo ne pointer ko s kiya so pointer moved here this now in the pointer next we are having this address of the new node so i have set pointer value equal to pointer next value so it will traverse and reach here this second node बिकॉज यहाँ पर इसको नए एड्रेस मिल गया है यहाँ पर ये फिर अगेन पॉइंटर पहुँच गया लेट से इट द एड्रेस वॉज टू सो टू इज़ द एड्रेस ऑफ दिस नोट लेट से नेक्स्ट एड्रेस इज हेयर फाइव इट विल गो एंड रीच हेयर नाउ इट विल कीप ऑन अपडेटिंग लाइक लाइक वी सेट स्टेप एट अंटिल पॉइंटर इज इक्वल टू नल नाउ वेन वी हैव रीच हेयर वॉट वी नीड टू डू इज वी जस्ट नीड टू अटैच the next ye here it is pointer next if you see is equal to null when our pointer is here right now in this all i have to do is to paste the address of new so in my next step when i have reached here these two steps will go hand in hand after this we will set, set up pointer next we will set as new so this will be having after this step this will be having new and hence the connection is established between these two nodes i hope you are getting my point how we did this algorithm we have to establish a connection between this node and this node and we did it first by traversing and reaching to this last node and just updating the address of this next node i hope this much is clear if you have any doubt please feel free to ask in the comment section next video we will be discussing insertion at any location i request you to share this video follow our channel like comment subscribe thanks for watching